There you go, it's SG. It's about uh, 48 degrees outside right now. And I've been working on the uh, stator mold. I got the uh, coils inside here. Got the little center divider. That represents where the bolt holes are for the uh, wind generator frame. These, the bolts here that uh, are basically in the same exact spot that the stator mounts would be on mounted to the uh, wind generator. So that saves you a lot of hassle of uh, trying to line up your stator once you've got it poured and ready to mount. The, the, so I have to just slide it on here. This is the uh, electrical connections to be able to hook it into the Star or Delta. And uh, I've already got the uh, bottom mat uh, screwed to the mold down here and secured with the, the middle section and what I did is I worked my way around all these different locations here uh, and drilled the holes for the screws couldn't find my countersink so I ended up using an old masonry bit that uh, has like a little countersink on it I guess if you want to call it that but it worked pretty good countersink the holes you don't want these uh, screw heads to be above the top of this flat surface here they want them to be slightly down below so now what I'll end up doing is putting another coat of wax on here uh, and getting ready to pour the solution uh, the solution I got uh, I was trying to find the 209 hardener that gives you a uh, uh, three parts of the solution to one part of the hardener ratio when you get ready to pour this uh, the only hardener I could find uh, available was the 206 which is a uh, five part solution one part hardener it uh, still is a slow cure but uh, it's a little bit faster than the 209 so we'll give that a try but uh, like I said it's still pretty pretty cold out here uh, I'm waiting for the sun to come up about one o'clock and I'll go ahead and try to pour but I won't bore you with that part we'll just uh, show you it going into the this uh, mold when I pour it in there and then putting the uh, top half on. Uh, you definitely want to have uh, gloves on when you're using this stuff because it can burn your skin. So we'll continue the video a little bit later on. Hopefully it warms up and I can get this pour done for you all. All right, we'll see you later. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's SD again. It's still 48 degrees out here. This is a solution that I found. Uh, there was a couple of companies that had some stuff they were showing online how they poured in their stators using epoxy resin this is from west systems if you just go on your computer and type in w-e-s-t system.com you'll find this company online and uh, you can order direct from them or uh, there's a box down there that you can uh, search to find uh, uh, where to find uh, retailers that sell this and all you do is put in your town that you live in and you can choose like five or twenty locations and click on that and it'll show you different suppliers it's usually on uh, uh, boat repair places marine supplies and stuff like that uh, there's different types of uh, hardeners they recommend you use the 209 that's a slower curing system but you have different ones if you wanted to have it uh, we have to read the directions on the back. Most of the ratios call for uh, three parts of your uh, epoxy resin and one part of this hardener. Now this one particular one uh, calls for uh, I think it was a five to one ratio on it. So we're going to follow that and see how that works. And uh, it gives you the temperatures that work best in. Uh, right now I'm kind of pushing the limits because it's uh, 48 degrees outside so we'll get this mixed up and again you still mix after you've mixed this for about one minute thoroughly is when you'll add in your baby powder and that baby powder helps uh, reduce the uh, uh, heat heat dissipation makes it work better that way so anyway we'll go ahead and get this going here in a few and uh, show you uh, actually pouring it into the mold uh, how you work that in and uh, We'll go from that. I'm not actually going to bore you with uh, mixing this stuff up. All right, so we'll catch you in a few. Hey guys, well we got the uh, stator solution poured. There's a few little steps I didn't get to show you, but there was a uh, two layers of fiberglass inside here. The last one was cut so the circle would clear around through here. I've got a little bit too much solution in there now because you wanted to ooze out on the sides. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on this now and uh, let her cure up, see how it goes. But uh, the next video, hopefully we're pulling out a uh, nice uh, stator. Now what I uh, ended up doing also is if you see all these bolts that come through here, I pulled them out individually and put a coat of uh, automotive wax on there so the solution won't stick to it. That way you can uh, work this and get these all out of there and not do any damage to the stator. So, well, let's see how it comes out. We'll catch you guys later.